what is up nightmare corner family today is an exciting day i am so excited to have this bad boy come in this is the texas chainsaw massacre leatherface statue by artifacts and kotobukiya this thing is freaking amazing now before we get into it you guys know one thing i love to do is not only support and give shout outs to uh you know small artists or you know artists uh, small businesses and stuff like that i love doing that so i do got to give credit where credit is due i purchased this bad boy from rotella resale so they were nice enough to even throw in a magnet which i will definitely be putting on my fridge uh, we got rotella resale i will have the link in the description below uh, they sell collectibles toys novelties and decor um, i actually found uh, these guys at uh, on Macari, and uh, that's where I found the Leatherface here. But uh, there's their information. You get a 20% off promo code RETURN, so you guys go ahead and utilize that. that I highly recommend them. It's packed beautifully. Uh, we had a bunch of popcorn Cheetos, and it was it was safe and sound, perfect condition. Absolutely love it. So big thank you to Rotella Resale. Definitely check them out. 20% off. You can't beat that. And like I said, I'm recommending them. You guys know I love supporting small businesses and i give credit where credit is due amazing people super fast shipping too um and you know like i said they have a little bit of everything for everybody so definitely check them out so thank you rotella resale appreciate you so let's get into the video so this is the texas chainsaw massacre leatherface now this thing is massive a lot bigger than what i originally thought it was going to be um, as you can kind of see the size of the box with my little knight that I got going on there. But beautiful packaging. I love how we have the kind of like chainsaw cuts going through. Nice profile of Leatherface there. And of course we have some classic scenes of Leatherface. Gunnar Hansen um, right here on the side of the box. And then my favorite part is we have where Leatherface is chasing Sally into the farmhouse. He's destroying the door. Nice little uh, window right there where we can see Leatherface. Very cool. And it's one of my favorite scenes when the brother comes home. Uh, here we go with the uh, Leatherface here on the side. And it looks like we got some uh, the intro on the side of the box right there. And of course we have Leatherface. I can't wait to pull this guy out. I'm going to go ahead and stop this so we can take a look at that front profile. Very beautiful. Very excited uh, to get this thing unwrapped. And in case you are wondering what I was talking about that scene was when Drayton Sawyer uh, comes home with Sally and uh the hitchhiker and they're walking up towards the door and they see the damage on the door and drayton's like look what your brother did to the door and he was just mad oh boy did he go after leatherface a little bit later on into the movie but uh yeah this is very cool this is a let me see one six scale pre-painted figure so very excited to take him out i mean they got the cuts here to kind of give it that 3d look and that plastic and then we see our boy leatherface right there so I'm going to take him out of the box. We're going to take a closer look at this. I'm very excited to take him out. Uh, stick around. This is going to be an amazing piece to review. Okay, guys, before before we get into the figure, I wanted to show you guys the back of the, or the card of that's inside the box um, because this might be an easy miss if you don't uh, take a look at it. But there's the back. There's the leather face that we see in the back of the box that's breaking through the door. But this card right here is absolutely beautiful. We have... Whoa. We have the Sawyer family right there. We got the Hitchhiker, Nubbins, Leatherface, Grandma and Grandpa, and Drayton Sawyer. And then we also have Leatherface. A couple more stills looking out the window. Full on face of Leatherface right there. There we got Bubba again. So nice little red stills like the blood scenes from the movies. Here we got some bones from the floor. We got Leatherface coming through the door. Another right there. And then more of the face right there. So that's very cool. Definitely check that out. This is really beautiful in person. Um, I wish I can probably, maybe I'll get this framed because this is actually really nice that you have all these pictures um, like this. So uh, yeah, let's get into the figure. I just wanted to show that off. This is really cool. Beautiful. I love it. All right, let's get into the leather face. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the metal base. So we do have a profile of Leatherface right there, as well as the very memorable Texas Chainsaw Massacre intro. Uh, we all know what that is, and as it begins, the film with you, which you are about to see is an account of a tragedy which befell a group of five youths, and so on and so forth. So very cool that they were able to give you that intro. That intro always gives me chills every time I hear it. 
absolutely perfect an amazing intro to an amazing movie and if we look on the back here we have the texas chainsaw massacre and then we have the um pretty much rights reserved and you know made in china and stuff like that beautiful texas chainsaw massacre and i really do love this that we got leatherface on the metal right there now it is magnet so leatherface does um click to it but we're gonna bring him out this thing is god guys i can't wait to show you so there's the magnets on the bottom of his shoes okay that he'll clip onto the uh base but i'm gonna say he he does have some heft to him and uh i mean this thing is just phenomenal so i guess what we can do is we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna start from here so here's leatherface um you know amazing sculpt the painting on this is is freaking phenomenal and if i can zoom in one thing i noticed as i was taking him out of the box i think hopefully you guys can see you can see he has real eyelashes on his mask might be a little bit hard to see but if you kind of focus just a little bit above the eyes you can see like right where the line of the holes of the eyes you can see the real eyelashes and if you take a closer look right there look at that you can see his eyes as well very cool highly detailed i mean this thing is amazing i'm i'm just amazed by it um and then you know of course we got the skin mask which i that's a really nice touch because you can see as it's like over his face like it's just wow that's amazing and then we have some real um, kind of like leather leather rope thing going on there. I'm not sure if it's real leather. It kind of feels like it, but, um, you know, just a string that we tie on the mask with. And then if we take a closer look, we can see some of Bubba's teeth. If I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, okay, maybe not the greatest, but you can kind of see his teeth. And we got his lips. I mean, this thing is like expertly painted. It's it's beautiful and then we got the hair of the mask nicely painted that that is a lot of great detail artifacts does really good makoto bukia is really good too if you guys look at my trapper video of the trapper statue i have for koto bukia uh same thing nice detailing so here we go we're going to go on with the shirt and then we're going to go ahead and actually if you look at the arms i mean they did really good at capturing you know the texas heat that dirt that grime the sweat I mean, it's one hot day in Texas, especially if you are like Bubba here, running around with a chainsaw in the Texas heat. It's definitely going to catch up with you. Uh, but you also can see the detailing of the hair on the arms. I mean, God, that is just crazy ridiculous how amazing this figure is. I mean, everything from like the, the lines on the fingers. Look at that. That is crazy. Fingernails. Let's see. There you go. More arms. The lines of the skin. I mean, this is detailed like crazy absolutely beautiful and then we have of course leatherface's bracelet that he has on right there with his little charms nice de de detailing on that as well uh, we look at the apron same thing even the shirt we got the creases the wrinkles and the one thing i do like the way they painted this is that i mean you can tell like he's been out in the texas sun i mean he, he looks hot he looks sweaty uh the shirt looks just soaked all around in general um you know we got the blood here on the apron all the creases, the blood splatter, very nice detailing. Um, and then, of course, we're going to be looking at the chainsaw. And uh, there is another pose that you can do as he's pulling the chain to get the saw going. So we're going to take a look at that as well. But look at that beautiful detailing on the saw. Every little like piece, bolt, paint. Uh, yeah, they did amazing with this. And honestly, for the price, it's definitely worth it. I'm sorry, guys, it's wobbling. I keep bumping his leg into my camera stand here. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Even the pants. We got the weathering of the pants there. The boots. Nice and faded jeans we got going on there. The back of the knees. And of course, we got the faded butt. <laughs> a leather face. So, you know, he's been sitting a lot. Nice little fade there going on the jeans. The crinkles. But just the detailing of everything. I mean, this this guy, he looks like he's just right out of the movie look at that all the detail on the sweater and it's the way they painted it guys it it's so cool because it makes it look like it's so realistic like i said you can look at this figure and know that it's hot he's hot he's sweaty he's from texas i mean soaked soaked in in, in sweat and blood clothes i mean absolutely beautiful and phenomenal and the fact that they were able to do 
um, real eyelashes in the mask is just crazy. And then you can see his eyes, teeth, the mouth, and then just a nice touching around the mask, how it's just wrapped around his face. You can see how it's sewn together. Nice real cord or string that holds the mask together. I mean, even if you look at the neck, look at the neck right there by the collar. I mean, you can even see the neck creases on this thing. Just wow. The detailing is just spot on. I definitely I highly recommend this statue. I mean, look at that. Even behind the ear, look at that. The wrinkle, everything. Wow. That's pretty cool, guys. And then we got the hair. The hair even looks all wet and dirtied and withered. Chainsaw blade. Nicks and scratches. Definitely been used. Very cool. So, whoa. Jeez Louise. He does click on there right there. His head does move. You can put it down a little bit more. You can turn it to the left. Turn it to the right. However way you want to display him. I think I'm going to be dis oops, displaying him like this. His head might be a little bit loose, but there we go. Oh, my God. This thing has been fuzzy the whole time. Um, but there he is. Yeah, he connects to his base really well. Uh, let me see if I can move this in. There we go. All right. Definitely a nice, uh, nice statue. Beautiful. Absolutely awesome. And there we go. We're going to turn it so you guys get the nice look. And he, like I said, he's massive. He's, he's, he's a huge statue. He has no problem staying connected to the base and, and wobbling and falling off. Just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So cool. And like I said, you can see for the size um, that he is. Um, here's a just like a regular statue that I have of a knight. I mean, he's tall. Pretty big. A lot bigger than what I thought he was going to be. Uh, but, I mean, overall, like I said, guys, I mean, you guys see it. The statue speaks for itself. It's definitely ten times better in person. Um, I mean, this thing, woo, worth the money. Absolutely love it. And like I said, his head is posable. Uh, it's more towards the way he's facing now uh, that you kind of get more of a, like a lean or kind of like a tilt that you got versus uh, to the left if he was going to look to the left. And um, you also get to, uh, you know, put him down. You can make him look up however you want to do it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much him. And uh, let me go ahead and stop this because you can, like I said, you can take out the arms and switch them around. And it does come with instructions on if you want to take out the arms and, and how to handle the uh, the chainsaw and give them to act like he's pulling the cord. So I'm going to I think I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to go ahead and work that out. And then I will let you know, guys know how easy it was, how hard it was. Um, and kind of give him that chainsaw pulling look so we can see him revving up his saw. Okay, so we're going to kind of put this in his hand. You know what? Let me do this off camera because this looks like it might be a little bit challenging. Okay, I'm actually going to show you guys real quick. So when you take the chainsaw off, um, on the piece that comes off, you have here the inside with the cord. You would just take the cord off of this peg and then carefully pull out. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys on the hands to kind of show how much more detail that they have. But you can see the muscles there in the wrist. But not only that, if we focus in... You can see we got some blood and some callous hands there, as well as some fingernails. So look at that. Blood and callous in his hands. Nice detailing on the arms. I can even see some vein action going here. So really cool. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead. And, whoa, this thing is just not working with me today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this out. Like I said, um, the chainsaw there, that's the piece that, that, that I just pulled off will connect to. So we're going to connect into his base. I'm going to get, let's see, maybe something. Here, we can use the knight real quick. <clears throat> Let me focus in on that. 
just use the tip of this, something like tweezers or something like that. You want to carefully get the string off of that peg. So now that that's off, we can carefully grab this bad boy and then pull. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach it to his saw. Like so. I wish this would focus. So we just attach that. It clicks pretty easy. We're going to fix his hand so we make this tight. Okay. We're going to throw his arm in. Okay, so we're going to kind of put this in his hand. You know what? Let me do this off camera because this looks like it might be a little bit challenging. Okay, so I got him with pulling the cord. Now, the one thing is you guys got to be very careful when you're using the cord because the cord kind of snapped on me. Uh, which is unfortunate but you it, it's kind of tricky to get them in that pose because this arm is the only one that really rotates and moves um this one is kind of more of a standstill um, even though it is broke you can kind of see there that it kind of pulled off that's okay i can still at least give the illusion uh, that he's pulling the cord there but um yeah i mean it's it's a little difficult you do have to pry the fingers open a little bit to get the uh, handle of the cord in there um, but like I said, if I wanted to, I can still give off the look, even though it's damaged. I could just open up the side part and just kind of snap that in there. But that will give you the look of him pulling the cord, which you kind of have to see. I, in my opinion, you'd have to kind of get a little bit close to see him even doing it in general. Um, but other than that, I mean, it looks pretty cool. You can kind of see it there. But uh, yeah, you can pose him as if he's uh, pulling the cord or um holding the chainsaw so very cool nice little option that you can do there just be very careful when you're dealing with the cord um you got to be very careful because this arm i don't know if it's for all of them but this one's a little bit loose and as i was trying to adjust the chainsaw to kind of tighten it a little bit because i didn't really like how loose it was um but i guess it really doesn't matter now that i think about it because I mean, if he's just grabbing it, getting ready, it kind of gives you that motion look. But uh, if you want it like really tight, like he's like, you know, already got it full out, like he's starting it. But uh, still a nice piece, nonetheless. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. There is the figure. Like I said, you got to be a little bit careful when you're dealing with the string for the saw. But other than that, I highly recommend this statue. It's absolutely beautiful nice detailing the paint job is actually phenomenal as well like i said definitely a realistic look and uh it's really cool to be able to see leatherface in all his glory and uh like i said kotobukiya did a good job artifacts very cool definitely worth the money nicely sculpted hand painted all that good stuff and there we have it leatherface from the texas chainsaw massacre now I'm going to go ahead and take this off my tri tripod and just kind of get a little bit up close for you guys. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely recommend. And uh, there's actually a slaughterhouse version where he's covered in blood as well. He got blood on the saw. More blood on the apron all over him. Uh, definitely going to be definitely something for me to consider getting um, the bloody version. But yeah, real eyelashes. Like I said, you can even see in there and see his eyes. Yeah, that is Leatherface. Nicely detailed. just that pose you know he's he's gonna do some damage just look at that straight out of the movie but other than that guys thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video 
hit that like button hit that subscribe button and that notification bell i really appreciate you guys watching join the channel join the community all horror and halloween here i'd love to have you guys but as usual i will see you guys in the next video be safe out there don't be a monster leave that to the monsters and slashers of the movies but other than that take it easy be safe see you later